Greetings class, this is a, uh, an optional uh, short course on an introduction to organic structures. So while we don't need organic chemistry as in the class to, um, to do this class, and it's not a prereq and we're not gonna, or we're not gonna uh, make you learn about organic reactivity, um, there are a few facts that we do need to know about uh, organic structures as they relate to polymers because every polymer is an organic structure. Um, you know, I don't want to use the, uh, the, the O word uh, because I know that this is a, an engineering class and we have people from all different kinds of backgrounds. But the simple fact is these polymers are made of carbon and hydrogen, so we need to know a little bit about the structure and bonding of carbon and hydrogen, which is called organic chemistry. Okay, so uh, this is just a quick crash course. Um, you don't even have to watch this, only if you want to. Okay, so uh, how do you count to 10 in organic chemistry, in the language of organic chemistry? Uh, uh, let's say, count to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the number of carbon atoms in the group, and there's a prefix. For $30, you get a uh, salad and a uh, entree and dessert with wine pairings. You get a price, uh, you get a prefix with the number of carbon atoms that is always the same, and it goes meth, two is F, three is prop, four is but, five, pent, six, hex, seven, hept, eight, is oct, nine is known, ten is dec, eleven is undec, and twelve is do dec. Okay, these are all the prefixes. So let's take um, let's take F. F is two carbon atoms, so we have carbon atom here, carbon atom here, and we know that it is going to be bonded to, each carbon atom is bonded to four other things, and we have something hanging out here. We're not sure what it is yet. We don't care. This is called F. If this is H, F plus H, equals ethane or F plus anything else F plus anything else means that it's ethyl something Ethyl, in other words, is the two carbon unit attached to something we don't know what it is. We just know that it's not H because then it would be ethane. So this with whatever, this is now called ethyl. This is the ethyl group. Same thing for methyl. Methyl group would just be this is a methyl group. So far so good. Works all the way down uh, down the line. Okay, so we don't draw ethane written like this, right? We draw it just as a straight line. This is, these are equivalent structures. Because carbon and hydrogen appear so often in organic chemistry, we don't draw them. We assume their presence because they have a very predictable bonding uh, behavior. 
Carbon always bonds to four other things, um, and and you you count the double bonds as that being as the carbon being bonded to something twice. That's why we drew benzene like this, even though benzene is really with hydrogen atoms making up the required valency of carbon of four. Okay, so far so good. I'm even going to cover this stuff again in class, but this is just so you have it here separately if you need to rewatch it. How about functional groups? Functional groups are groups of atoms that react with each other in a predictable way. And in polymer science, there are only a small number of them that end up being important. You have OH, which is called a either hydroxyl or alcohol. Incidentally, what you drink is ethyl alcohol. What you put on a wound to disinfect it is isopropyl alcohol. So this is an uh, hydroxyl or alcohol. NH2 is an amine. Now these functional groups are, um, are called, uh, uh, will, will react with other functional groups to give you linkages in a polymer system. So another functional group could be this is an acid chloride acid or acyl chloride. You can also have a carboxylic acid or just an acid, a, uh, an organic acid, sometimes just called uh, an acid, and you can add these together uh, this is misleading, we'll just say you could have this plus this, or this plus this, or this plus this, or this plus this to give you uh, linkages and the linkages that you get when you add a hydroxyl to an acid chloride or a hydroxyl to a carboxylic acid is called and uh, you condense a molecule of water in this reaction so plus HCl or H2O, and this is called an ester linkage. Ester is C double bond O bonded to an O, and then something out here. Closely related to the ester is what we talked about in class, which is a carbonate, which is like, sorry, don't want to confuse my nomenclature here. We'll just draw squiggled lines to indicate that this could be anything. This is called a carbonate, which is like two esters at once. It's an ester on this side and it's an ester on this side, and that's called a carbonate. Now, whether or not you get HCl or H2O as the condensation product, 
depends on whether you use the acid chloride or the carboxylic acid. Now it's generally, the acid chloride is a lot more reactive than the carboxylic acid. In order to get the carboxylic acid um, to react with a uh, hydroxyl or an amine group, you usually need to, um, to do this reaction under quite high heat and, uh, and low pressure to drive off the water as it's formed to sh shift the equilibrium toward the polymer. In the case of the acid chloride, usually you add in some base to neutralize this HCl as it's formed. Okay, don't worry about the conditions of the reaction. Just know that you add this together, they, they add up like Legos and you get a, it ejects a small molecule out. Okay, another linkage, if you use the amine instead, what you have is this plus HCl or H2O, and this is called an amid or a peptide, which it is known as in biochemistry. Closely, if you, if you have something that's in a mean, uh, or sorry, an, an amide on one side and an ester on the other, so you have something that looks like this. This is called a carbamate. Or often in polymer science, it's called a urethane. And this is more often the term used in polymer science, and so, that, so this is where you get the term uh, polyurethane. And this is made in a slightly different way than these other ways. And we'll talk about this um, uh, in much more detail um, in, uh, in class. And I just want to mention uh, one more thing. You'll not be tested on what I'm about to tell you. But sometimes in the book, you'll see a mechanism. Sometimes you'll see a mechanism of a reaction. So let's say we have an alcohol. Now an alcohol oxygen has two lone pairs. So if you remember from Lewis dot structures from general chemistry, you have lone pairs here. And how about if we have acid chloride, the first step of the reaction is going to be indicated by these electrons forming a bond by traveling up to the, uh, the carbon atom. Now this carbon atom is, has a lot of its electron density sucked away from it, so it's partially positively charged, and that's why the electrons attack it. So two electrons are drawn using a double-headed arrow that indicates the, the movement of a pair of electrons. But sometimes you have, let's say, some, some generic group R. R could be anything in the language of organic chemistry. Anything usually uh, an, al an alkyl group. So alkyl is the generic term for methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, hexyl, and so on. We call those alkyls. If they're bonded to a hydrogen atom, they're called an alkane. Propane, butane, and so forth. Okay, so suppose you have one Bond, or you have one, um, you have one electron. One electron moves using a. Is the movement of one electron is indicated using a single-headed uh, arrow like this. So two electrons, double-headed arrow, single electron, one arrow. So this is, for example, the first step 
in a, uh, in a polycondensation reaction, and this is the first step in a radical uh, reaction. Okay, I hope you found this um, a little bit useful if you never had uh, organic chemistry before. So uh, we will not be very sophisticated in what we need with organic chemistry, but it's, it's important that at least uh, you know the, the language and the basic um, structures uh, uh, involved. So thank you very much, um, and I'll talk about this stuff again in class, but I just want to have this uh, out there uh, for you uh, if you need it now. All right, see you later.